In just a couple of weeks, people 21 and older will be able to purchase marijuana for recreational use across Missouri. Since this concept is brand new, there are some do's and don'ts you'll need to know about. Brent Solomon is live in North St. Louis County with what you do need to know. Brent. Well, Mike, I can tell you we're talking about dispensaries that are already open for business for those who have medical marijuana cards. Well, now these same businesses are gearing up to welcome those who don't need a medical marijuana card in order to smoke weed. And that's why we were there for a town hall forum to get your questions answered. But the responsible thing to do is if you know you're too high, don't get behind a motor vehicle. A crowd full of people at the JFK Community Center in Florissant Thursday night. There were so many things that were questionable. State Senator Angela Mosley holding a town hall forum since the passage of Amendment 3, legalizing recreational marijuana, is new for the Show Me State. The possession limit is three ounces. Uh, anything that is up to double that uh, is an infraction under the law. Uh, not to be punishable by a fine greater than $100. Prior to the amendment, that same offense could have gotten you a year in jail. Experts on hand providing insight on what the new law means. You can legally give up to three ounces to another adult. You can't sell it, but you can legally give it to them. Those 21 and over can even grow marijuana in limited amounts, but keep this in mind. Not just anyone can just start growing, so I don't want people just saying, hey, let me just start planting stuff in my back seat. Back yard. No, you have to have a license. Advocates say it's a simple process, similar to someone who applies for a fishing license. As for those with previous misdemeanor and even certain felony marijuana offenses. About 20 of the circuit courts in the state have already started processing the expungements. Uh, there's been about 3,500 that have already been processed as of Friday, last Friday. Uh, we expect that number will ultimately grow into over 100,000 by uh, the, end of, uh, the end of this year. They answered all the questions that I had. And Brent, we know there was a strict timeline for courts to get these expungements done. Are local courts on track to meet those deadlines? Right, six months for those with misdemeanors and a year for those with felonies. But Mike, tonight, Prosecutor Wesley Bell said he wouldn't be surprised if some courts end up needing more time because this is such an intensive process. Brent, thanks.